This week, we'll take you on what is, in our opinion, one of the most beautiful drives in Australia, as well as a track up a nameless mountain. If you're traveling between Mount Augustus and Karajini, we can highly recommend you take the back roads. Mount Augustus to wherever that leads. So today, it's just a little drive. According to Google Maps, eight hours, 40 minutes. <laughs> And it's only 430 kilometers, so um, it will be slow going, and that's what people told us. It's gonna be a bit rough, so we'll see how we go. You ready for driving all day? Nope. <laughs> oh well. With the state of the road, driving took longer than expected, so we pulled up for the night, watched the sunset and got some really cool night shots. Back on the track. 
track. Um, there's still it's a road actually it's got a name but there is so many washouts you can't even go fast and you have to slow down every like 100 meters and it looks like this that's a small one it's a pretty good one actually <laughs> yeah you don't want to hit that fast because um, it might damage your vehicle so we've got another 166 kilometers to go and then we should get to tom price and Karajini is waiting for us! You exciting? Yeah, swimming! <laughs> Concealed shortcut to Tom Price, which saved us the 80 km detour through Paraboudou. You can tell you're getting close to the Pilbara when you see uh, parts of mountains missing because the mines have uh, blasted them off. <laughs> well, and truly, it is mining country out here. traffic lights red so there should be a truck or something coming I reckon so slow just like us The Pilbara is one of the most resource-rich regions of the world and accounts for more production than the next two countries combined, 
with about 850 million tons of iron ore mined per year. on Nameless Valley Road and it's another 20 kilometers to Tom Price so we are inflating our tires for the first time in one or two weeks again <laughs> yeah it's so odd um, we're glad we didn't inflate them earlier because that stretch was partly pretty good and some parts are corrugated and kind of like washouts but not as bad as the road before we've been on so yeah, let's pump up these tires and head to Tom Price Visitor Center. All right, we stocked up in Tom Price and fueled up just the main tank. And it's one and a half hours before sunset. So we're trying to get up Mount Nameless, only if it's not too crazy because it's quite late. Um, yeah. Mount Nameless overlooks the Pilbara and Tom Price and is the second highest full drive accessible mountain peak in Western Australia, standing 1,128 meters above sea level. If you don't have a full drive, there is a walking track to the top as well. The road's very smooth. <laughs> Everything's <Right>. shaking. <laughs> We've been spoiled with all the good outback roads. <laughs> And at the visitor center they said first low is a must. So we'll see. Fall drives on. <laughs> Step number one. Up we go. Amazing. Um, 
but it will be quite interesting to get back down again later because some spots are a bit slippery and very steep very very steep so yeah we'll see how we go and now we're just gonna enjoy the view we have to drone up it looks epic Check out this amazing spot. <laughs> Almost like 360 degree views. Beautiful colors over there. An awesome sunset here. <laughs> this says it's the highest vehicle access in WA, a thousand and sixteen meters. But Patrick, is that right? No, uh, Mount Meharry is the highest vehicle access. But I reckon they put this plaque here before they built the track up to Mount Meharry. Yeah, probably. coming up as we go down and a unimog we don't know so that's pretty interesting <laughs> As you can see but we're at the water fill point at Tom Price and there is a mining truck on display so you can have a look and we want to park as close as we can because it's fenced off just so you see how big they are and the mock suddenly looks tiny even though the mock's big usually <laughs> it's so cool it's dark so yeah I'm not sure if we will be able to take a shot so we can see everything but yeah we'll give it a try Sorry guys, we didn't quite make it to Karajini this episode, but we promise we'll take you into the famous gorges and waterholes next week. <laughs> <laughs>